This video will show you how to do the finalizing setup if your console is already modded but have nothing in it. So you will have all the essential apps on the home screen. Let's get started. First, let's make sure whether the console is already modded. Turn off the console. Now press the select button, followed by pressing the power button. If you see this Luma 3DS configuration screen, it is confirmed that your console is already modded. But if you're directed to the home screen, your console is running the stock firmware, or not modded yet. The next thing to do is to check the Luma 3DS version. If yours is version 705 or lower, please do the A9LH2B9S guide. Otherwise, please continue with this guide. Press the start button to get to the home screen. And then turn off the console. Remove the SD card from it. Download the 3DS starter pack from the link in the description. Suppose this is the content of your console's SD card. Now open the 3DS starter pack archive and extract all its content to the SD card. Replace the existing files and folders. Reinsert the SD card to the console. And turn it on. You can see that the pack automatically updates the Luma 3DS version. Currently, it is on version 11.0. You might see a newer version in the future as I will constantly update the all-in-one pack. Now press the start button to get into the home screen. Open the download play app. Press and hold L. The pad down and the select button to get into the Rosalina menu. Select miscellaneous options and choose switch the HP title to the current app. Press the B button several times to get into the download play app main screen, then close the app. And now reopen the download play app. You will open the homebrew launcher. Again, get into the Rosalina menu by pressing the L, the pad down, and the select button. Choose miscellaneous options. Select them the SP firmware. Press the B button to go back. Now select nullify user time offset. Press the B button several times to get back to the homebrew launcher. Then select FBI. Select SD, then get into the CIAS folder. Choose the current directory and select install and delete all CIAS. Press any button to continue, then press the home button to get back to the home screen, and close the app. Now unwrap all the recently installed titles. And turn off the console. Now press and hold the start button, followed by pressing the power button. You will load the God Mod 9. If you are prompted to create an essential files backup and set up the RTC, please do so. Now press the home button and choose scripts. Select GM9 Mega Script. Now choose scripts from Plylex Guide. And select setup Luma 3DS to CTRNet. Press the A button twice, then enter the combo keys to continue. Press the A button to go back, then select clean up SD card. Press the A button, then press the A button again. Press the B button to go back, select backup options, then select SysNAN backup. Make sure you have at least 1.3GB space left on the SD card to backup the console's NAN.
Press the A button to continue, press the B button to go back, then select Exit. Press the A button to relock the NAND. Get to the System Virtual Partition, select the Essential XEFS file, then copy it to the gm 9 out folder. Now press the Home button, then choose Power Off. Remove the SD card from the console. Create a new folder on your computer and name it as you like. Open that folder. Get into the gm 9 out folder and move every file inside this folder to the newly created folder. Insert the SD card into the console and turn it on. And you have successfully done the 3DS finalizing setup. Thanks for watching this video.